Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 157 alongside Nishan Burrell, who just defeated Yuri Villefort via unanimous decision. Nishan, congratulations on your very first win inside the UFC octagon. How do you feel? I mean, that's a big deal for you. It's a relief, man, to get it out the way now. Get all the jitters out the way now. I feel good. Did you feel nervous going into the fight? Um, just nervous cutting the weight. Just I hate cutting the weight, but other than that, I felt good, man. Got a good team behind me in Philly. What happened with the weight cut? You came over yesterday. It was a little miscalculation with the because I got the fight last, the notice for the fight last week, and we miscalculated some things. But I'm grateful they let me fight, and here we are now. Were you fined? Um, yeah, I was pretty good afterwards. No, no, were you fined by the commission? Oh, fined? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. Fine. You're not sure? Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, did you feel, considering the fact that you came in overweight debut, you know, there's talks of cuts and whatnot, did you feel like you had to win and do something impressive out there tonight? Always, especially coming off my last strike force fight as a loss, I had to come in with a win, or I probably wouldn't, you know, be back. And you've been sitting on that loss for a while because of all the uncertainty in strike force. How frustrating was that? It was hard, man. You know, after a loss, you want to get right back into it to show that you're okay. And I had so so much time off. I'm glad to just get this get this fight out the way. I feel good now. Was it overwhelming? Did you have a moment where you were standing inside the cage before the fight? I'm finally here in the UFC. When we first got in for weigh-ins and I got to see the cage, it was a little, it was a little, you know, overwhelming. But you know, once you get in there to fight, you got to get all that out your system, or you're gonna take an L. Are you happy with your performance? Um. Uh, yes. Uh, even though it was, it was short notice, I did the best I can do, and I felt as though I'll be getting a call again. Very interesting moment towards the end of the fight where he had, you know, he had your leg and you were just raining punches and he didn't let go. Were you surprised? Yes, I just wanted a little bit more leverage to just get a little bit le more leverage so I can hit him harder. I thought I was going, I thought I was going to finish him there, but it was just pitter patter punches. Were you surprised that he didn't let go? Um, no, you know, a lot of uh, grapplers, if they feel as though they got something, they're going to stay with it. And that's what I was counting on. I wanted him to keep holding it so I can keep hitting him. You've seen some weird decisions in the UFC as of late. Were you confident you won? Oh, you, you know, when you leave it to the judges, you never know. I was sitting there, uh, fingers crossed. You know, they, they talked a lot on the broadcast about you training with Bernard Hopkins. How much has he helped you throughout your, your training for not only this fight, I know it's short notice, but, you know, last few months or so? You know, you learn, you learn a lot from guys like that. He especially told me, you know, to keep your hands up. Yeah. You always need to keep your hands up. And he, uh, sparring with him, you know, I learned that. Was he watching? Um... I doubt it. <laughs> He's a busy guy. Yeah, busy. Busy, busy man. He got a fight coming up on his own. That's right. You know, he got to stay in shape, keep training. Well, congratulations. A great performance. Looking forward to what's next for you. Thank you.